A U.S. official says that the Philippines will soon announce new local sites for the American military installations. The OA's Jessica Stone reports. Hello from Washington. Philippines Defense Chief Carlito Galvez Jr. says that he hopes the U.S. will consider additional shared military sites with the Philippines military. You'll recall that Manila gave Washington access to four additional military bases last month. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall helped break ground at the Basa Air Base outside Manila for a renovation of the runway this week. He and Defense Chief Carlito Galvez celebrated the expansion of the EDCA, Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, which allows the American military to access Philippine bases for joint training, pre-positioning of equipment, and building facilities such as military housing, but it is not a permanent presence for U.S. troops. The Philippines has yet to identify the four additional sites revealed last month, but a former military chief has said Washington asked for access to three bases on the island of Lusan in the north, which faces Taiwan, as well as one on Palawan in the southwest. That is near the Spratly Islands, which China and other nations claim in the South China Sea. Today's event is a physical manifestation of our enhanced defense cooperation agreement, a key pillar of the U.S.-Philippine alliance. It builds on our mutual defense treaty that applies anywhere in the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. As Secretary Austin noted in his trip here last month, our alliance makes both of our democracies more secure and helps uphold a free and open Indo-Pacific. The One Defense AEP team looks forward to the timely completion of all EDCA projects, considering that those facilities would greatly help the armed force of the Philippines boots its capability to ensure the country's defense. Most importantly, the facilities would contribute to the national effort in securing our country's sovereignty and territorial integrity, particularly in our maritime domain awareness campaign. In all, the U.S. government has allocated $82 million for infrastructure investments in the EDCA sites. Jessica Stone, VOA News, Washington.